What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for Arizona. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win and I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But as always, before we preview their schedule, let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Last season, Arizona really shocked a lot of people. They finished the season with a 10-3 record. They didn't even make a bowl game the previous season. And most people honestly were not expecting a huge improvement from this team. But Arizona definitely over-exceeded expectations. And Noah Fafita and Tetrarol McMillan really helped lead this team to success. Because they were one of the most dangerous quarterback-receiver duos in all of college football. And they will both be returning next season for Arizona. The defense was also pretty decent. And they had one of the top defenses in the Pac-12. Not only did they have a breakout season, but they finished the season beating Oklahoma in their bowl game. And the future is looking very bright for Arizona because they return a lot of young talent from the previous season. But some of that young talent left. They still do return top stars like Fafita and McMillan on the offensive side, as I already mentioned. But they also return Jacob Manu on the defensive side who had over 100 tackles last season. Unfortunately, they lost 25 players to the transfer portal and they also lost their head coach Jed Fish. Now a lot of people are expecting Arizona to take a step down because of what they lost, but I still do really like this team and I wouldn't be surprised if they did end up playing for the Big 12 Championship on December 7th. But anyways, let's get into predicting their schedule and they open the season playing at home against New Mexico. New Mexico has been a consistently terrible team since 2017 and they have not won more than 4 games in a season since 2017. I think they had a solid hire a head coach with Bronco Mendenhall. New Mexico also brings in 18 transfers, so maybe New Mexico finally makes a bowl game again. But Bronco Mendenhall definitely is going to have a tough task on his hands trying to rebuild this team. And no questions asked, I definitely have Arizona win in their home opener and move it to 1-0 in the season. The next game for Arizona is at home against Northern Arizona. Northern Arizona is an FCS team and Arizona actually beat them 38-3 last season. This should be a guaranteed win on the schedule for Arizona. So easily, I definitely have Arizona winning this game and move it to 2-0 on the season, and there is nothing much to say about that game. The next game for Arizona is on the road against Kansas State, and this is actually scheduled as a non-conference game, so this game will oddly have less stakes, but it is still two very solid teams playing against each other, and I'm actually very high on this Kansas State team. They return 80% of production on defense, which is top four in the country. They also have a very solid quarterback going forward with Avery Johnson. And Kansas State should continue to be a very solid team with head coach Chris Clement. Kansas State could very well win another Big 12 title now that Texas and Oklahoma are both gone. I like this Arizona team, but I think Kansas State is the all-around better team. And I do think Kansas State is going to have a very good defense. So I have Arizona losing this game on the road and move it to 2-1 on the season. And following their game against Kansas State, Arizona will have a bye week. And then they start conference play and they play Utah on the road. This game for Arizona is against another potential Big 12 championship winner. The Utes are a serious contender if the offense could be efficient with Cam Rising. But let's not forget Cam Rising helped lead Utah to back-to-back -to -back Pac-12 championships in 2021 and 2022. Utah also has receiver Micah Pittman Jr. returning. And I am very certain that the offense is going to be much better with Cam Rising at quarterback. And the defense is going to be very good because the defense is always good as long as Kyle Winningham is the head coach. And similar to Kansas State, Utah is kind of like that cockroach team that you can never put down. And I really like this Utah team as a whole heading into next season. And I think Arizona having this game in Salt Lake City is going to hurt their chances of winning this game. So I definitely think Utah will avenge last season's loss. And I have Arizona dropping this game on the road and move it to 2-2 two two on the season. The next game for Arizona is at home against Texas Tech. Texas Tech has a bright future with head coach Joy McGuire. And I know Texas Tech hasn't won 9 games since 2007 when Mike Leach was the head coach, but it is going to be interesting to see if Joey McGuire can help lead this team to success and maybe win double digit games. They had the 4th best recruiting class in the Big 12 last year, but this year they have the number 1 Big 12 recruiting class, and that recruiting class is led by 5 star receiver Micah Hudson, who should be an immediate impact type of player right away. They lose a lot of production, but they have a lot of talent from recruiting and the transfer portal. They return one of the best running backs in the country as well, 
and they have two very good receivers with Micah Hudson and Josh Kelly. And they have a quarterback with a lot of potential. And last year, Texas Tech was a very competitive team all season outside of that game against Texas. Texas Tech went 7-6 last season, and I wouldn't be surprised if they did take a step up in 2024. This is basically a 50-50 game to me, but Arizona has this game at home, so I do think Arizona will get back on track with a win in this game. And I do have Arizona move it to 3-2 and two on the season, but this should definitely be a fun game regardless of who wins. The next game for Arizona is on the road against BYU. And I don't have high expectations for BYU going forward. They only went 5-7 and seven last season, and they actually ranked last in the Big 12 transfer portal rankings. They just don't really have a lot of talent on the team, and BYU ceiling is probably a bowl game appearance. And it is going to be much more difficult for them because they are now playing Big 12 competition, and I definitely have Arizona winning this game and move it to 4-2 and two on the season. The next game for Arizona is at home against Colorado. Arizona only actually beat Colorado by 3 points last season. And I know Colorado only went 4-8 and eight last season, but they should be much better in 2024. They have the number one transfer portal class in the Big 12. And they added a lot of big additions up front, including 5-star offensive tackle Jordan Seaton from their recruiting class. They returned 72% of production, which is top 15 in the country. And I just don't see a team that only goes 4-8 and eight again. Last season, Colorado was already pretty competitive with Utah and Arizona, and they actually beat TCU and Arizona State. And I have no doubt that Colorado will be competing in the Big 12. And I'm definitely not saying they will compete for a Big 12 championship, but Colorado should definitely be a better team and make a bowl game. But Arizona has this game at home, and I do think Fafita and McMillan are going to take advantage of a weak Colorado secondary. So I am going to say Arizona will win this game, and I have Arizona move it to 5-2 and two on the season, but I could see this game going either way. The next game for Arizona is at home against West Virginia. West Virginia is just a sneaky team that is flying under a lot of people's radars. They quietly won 9 games last season, and they could have very well won 10 games if they didn't slip up against Houston. But next season, West Virginia actually returns 89% of production on offense. And I'm not calling my shot or anything, but this team could be a potential sleeper to win the Big 12 championship. They reloaded at cornerback in the transfer portal after the departure of Beanie Bishop. They should be an all-around solid team. And I think Arizona is going to lose this game at home. So I do have Arizona move it to 5-3 and three on the season. The next game for Arizona is on the road against UCF. There are so many solid teams in the Big 12. And that's what makes this conference wide open and unpredictable. Similar to Texas Tech, I think they have a great head coach. And UCF also recruits at a pretty high level. They have the second best recruiting class in the Big 12 conference this year. And they also have the number one class in the 2025 Big 12 recruiting cycle right now. KJ Jefferson should be a great fit at quarterback for this team, and they return RJ Harvey at running back who was a beast. Receiver Kobe Hudson also returns. UCF also brought in 16 transfers, and I think UCF is going to be very solid next season. But I'm going to say Arizona will get a bounce back win on the road in this game, so I have Arizona move it to 6-3 on the season. Following their game against UCF, Arizona will have a bye week and then they play at home against Houston. Houston could potentially be the worst team in the Big 12 next season. This team is definitely in rebuild mode. They have a new head coach, and the offense will have four new starters on the offensive line, and quarterback Donovan Smith has been dealing with injuries. Houston also lost 30 players to the transfer portal, and they really have a lot to clean up on both sides of the ball. I do think Willie Fritz has potential to turn this team around, but it will definitely take more than one year. And Arizona should be the much better team than Houston, so I have Arizona winning this game and move it to 7-3 and on the season. The next game for Arizona is on the road against TCU. TCU is another team of the Big 12 that people expect to take a step up. TCU went 5-7 and seven last season, and they really underperformed expectations after just making the national championship the previous season. But they do return 71% of production next season, and they do have some positives going forward with a lot of the new transfer portal additions. And they will also have a new defensive coordinator who is Andy Avalos, the former Boise State head coach. They return Josh Hoover at quarterback, and I don't expect anything crazy from this team, but I expect them to be solid and make a bowl game at the very least. But I do think Arizona can pull off the win on the road in this game, so I do have Arizona move it to 8-3 and three on the season. And the final game of the season for Arizona is on the road against Arizona State. Arizona dominated Arizona State last season, and I expect the same type of game in 2024. But I would still say don't count out this Arizona State team in this game because they will have the game at home and anything can happen in rivalry games. Arizona State actually has a pretty solid chance for portal and recruiting class, and I think Kenny Dillingham could potentially have this team heading in the right direction. 
But I just do not expect great things from Arizona State, at least next season. They lost their number one receiver and Jaden Rashada at quarterback, who had a lot of potential. There are a lot of transfer portal additions who could play a huge role on this team, but they are losing just as much as they gain. And I think Kenny Dillingham still has a lot of work to do for this Arizona State team. So I have Arizona winning this game on the road. And I have Arizona finishing the season with a 7-2 conference record and a 9-3 overall record. And I still expect Arizona to be a top contender for the Big 12 championship in 2024 despite what they are losing. Because alone, returning Fafita and McMillan is huge for this Arizona team. And they still have some talent on the team and I do expect them to be pretty good. Arizona may take a bit of a step down because of what they lose. But overall, I still think Arizona is one of the better teams in the Big 12. And I honestly don't see any reasons for them to completely fall off because they have a lot of positives going forward despite losing Jed Fish at head coach. And I don't know if they have the deep talent to win the Big 12 championship, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did, and we will see what happens. But anyways, you guys let me know how many games you think Arizona will win in 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.